Hello viewers, I am Dr. Suchitra Sahu. I am a pathologist and presently I am working as head of lab medicine department at Jayaprakash Hospital Research Center. In this video, I am going to explain briefly about a grave bleeding disorder known as hemophilia. Has made this video on the occasion of World Hemophilia Day, which is observed every year on 17th of April. Now, what do you mean by hemophilia? It is a bleeding disorder where bleeding continues for a long time after injury and does not clot. It is an inherited disorder, which means it runs in certain families. The cause is basically deficiency of some of the coagulation factors. Coagulation factors are protein substances which are present in the blood and which helps in the formation of the clot. Hence, when there is deficiency of these clotting factors, the blood does not clot and bleeding continues. There are around 20 coagulation factors in our blood. Out of this, 12 plays the major role in the process of clotting mechanism. Now, out of this 12, deficiency of two types, that is coagulation factor 8 and coagulation factor 9 causes hemophilia. There are two types of hemophilia. One is hemophilia A, another is hemophilia B. Hemophilia A is most common, which is caused by deficiency of factor 8. And the other is hemophilia B, which is caused by deficiency of factor 9. These patients, they suffer from bleeding disorder. What happens? There is prolonged bleeding after an injury. And sometimes there is also bleeding in the joints. This condition is known as hemarthrosis, which causes swelling and painful joints. Diagnosis, yes, it can be diagnosed by some special blood tests like your uh, estimation of the coagulation factor levels, levels, that is factor 8 and factor 9 levels and another is by estimation of the prothrombin time and activated partial thromboplastin time, that is PT and APDT. These conditions, they can be treated by injecting the missing clotting factors in the form of clotting factor concentrate. Now, hemophilia, at this time, we cannot prevent hemophilia in those patients who have already inherited the defective gene. But of course, we can manage it properly by registering the known hemophilic patients in the Hemophilia Society of Odisha and in the Hemophilic Hemophilia Federation India. Today is the World Hemophilia Day. This year is the 31st Hemophilia Day and the theme is adapting to change, sustaining care in a new world. Thank you viewers. I hope this video was helpful and it gave you some idea about hemophilia. Thank you.